lap number 86. Now it's time to push our server instance on Bluemix. So we'll start with opening the browser and navigating to our Bluemix.net. Uh, and uh, after logging inside, uh, you should be able uh, to go to your items and see the existing database. So what we are interested in is creating a new um, Cloud Foundry application. So basically, you can just search for Cloud uh, Foundry applications and uh, then select Liberty for Java. So you can enter any name and any host name, but just be rem remember that the host name is actually the name uh, how you will access it. So I will go with something like App Center one two three uh, for for both options, and afterwards you can click create. So application is starting, and there are several things that you need to do like. Uh, downloading the Cloud Foundry uh, command line interface and, and the Bluemix command line interface so it has the release for different operation systems. I was using a uh, release for Mac and I already did this setup so um, I'm not planning to do that. Uh, but if you're doing it first time so then of course you need to install both command line interfaces. Then we will skip the downloading startup code, we don't need that. Uh, what we need is to actually open the terminal and uh, just as it's shown, do the several things. So first we need to connect to uh, Bluemix. So for that we can uh, copy and pass in our console the line that represents the connection to the Bluemix. So by default it will uh, select the recent space and organization and everything just as you defined where you were creating this instance. Then you need to log into Bluemix. It will uh, automatically substitute uh, the login parameters uh, right here. So just copy this line the same as previously. You can also press this button to copy and uh, pass it in your terminal and you will be prompted uh, during this uh, connection uh, to type a password, so just type a password. So afterwards uh, you should be able to uh, connect. So after connection to Bluemix and logging in inside, uh, we should be able to just do the push. So just as it, it uh, typed here in, in that line, we will do CF push, then the name app center 123, but then we will provide a different path and our path will be inside the downloads folder WLP like in my case in, my, in your case you may unpack it in a different directory it depends but what we are interested in the location of our server so uh, user servers app center so this is what we are going to push on Bluemix so afterwards just type enter and wait uh, it may take a while because uh, you need to remember that we are uploading two WAR files, uh, well, approximately 40 megabytes. Uh, and um, well, basically, it, it of course depends on your network connection. Um, but normally, uh, yeah, you see 42 megabytes. It takes up to a couple of minutes to upload those. So I sped up uh, that push process a bit, uh, but uh, anyway, now our application is there. So we should be able to access it by navigating to that URL, appcenter123, mybluemix.net. So let's do that. And we are interested in application center console. Oh, sorry, yeah, of course, appcenter console. Yep, so uh, as you remember, App Center admin is the username and admin is the password.
and we are seeing our applications here. So let's try to add one more uh, just to test that everything works. Uh, let's, for example, go with the dots uh, for iTunes. This is quite a popular game. Okay, so let's just copy the URL and go back. And now we have a new application here um, deployed. So of course you can change the description to whatever you want, like test, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we just verified that our application center is working and let's try to uh, install one of the apps on our mobile device. So I have Android and later running. Uh, let's try with this one, go with HTTP uh, app center one two three dot my Linux dot net slash um, application center then slash installers HTML. This is the pass for web installers. And after navigating to it, uh, we should be able to uh, See the prompt for username and password? Yep, let's go with demo for username and demo for password. As you remember, this is our second user and we should get inside. And yep, there is only one application for Android and we can simply try to install it. So we see that our um, file started downloading. So now when it's completed, we can go and simply install that app. That's it, our application installed. Uh, and we can try the same for iOS. But for iOS, uh, we need to know that uh, those apps that we downloaded from iTunes, like this Prisma, they are, cannot be marked as installers because we simply don't have that option. So as you remember, for VLC for Android, we had that uh, sync to market as installer so we can actually load it from browser but uh, for other apps we cannot do so so to test it without the client uh, because the client is a separate topic uh, that is rather for developer to create well not to create but to uh, build and sign and distribute the client application for um, the application center this is a rather task for developers not for admins so it's out of our scope for, for uh, this application center on the Bluemix uh, series. So what we need to do now, we need to, for iOS, we just need to use some uh, other uh, EPA file that we can download and unpack. I will use a test file from myself. So I will add application. Uh, this is the test app. Uh, that I used to connect to a server, uh, meaning testing server connection, nothing more than that. Uh, I'm not planning to do anything with that, you can use any application you want. Um, my goal is just to mark it as an installer, click done, uh, wait until it will be loaded and afterwards try to install it from mobile device. So let me launch my device. Okay, so I'm in the browser. I will go to HTTPS and then our uh, application center one to three madlumix.net uh, application center installers. And I started with HTTPS on purpose. Uh, there is a thing that uh, for iOS uh, you need to have a valid um, SSL connection and you need to have a valid certificate with C certificate inside so domain should be valid and a Bluemix uh, doing everything for you. So when you just navigate into installers using the HTTP connection uh, it's automatically trusted and everything works just as you expect. So just type uh, username and the password as it was before and select the application. In our case, we are interested in the text app, click install, then agree to install the app and then basically wait until the application will be installed. So 
It may take some time, uh, of course it depends on the network connection, but uh, once installation will be completed, you will be able to launch that application and to see that uh, basically it is running. Basically that's it. Uh, that was a simple test application that we just managed to install. So uh, on, on this step, uh, we can say that our application center uh, small web series finished and we managed uh, to push application center on Bluemix using DashDB and Cloud Foundry application based on uh, Liberty. So uh, thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoyed.